What do you think of the new lamp track? Well, I think it's excellent because I helped build it. <laughs> <laughs> you were there, yes. Um, what was your favourite ride or have you got Wesley, wait. Give the lads a couple of weeks to get used to it, and I think no problem either. It'll be a, a good home advantage. Well, personally, I'm hoping to get um, David McCallum's place off him um, within the next month or so, or two months, whatever it takes. But I'm just going to go out and win races and get match fit. Bandit's first practice session proves the new track to be a success. All the riders agree that the improvements to the 368 metre circuit are a great improvement. All liken it to the track at Exeter. One by one, the riders arrive, including one, Rene Madsen, meeting here with team captain Scott Lamb. He's accompanied by fellow Dane, Jan Stackman, himself a former Speedway world finalist. Then it's off to meet his new boss, Mike Hope. Probably will be in about the first six, I would think. They'll be up there alongside Peterborough and uh, Redden. What do you think of the new bank track? Yeah, it's it's very very much faster speedway like, and it's uh, on the similar lines as, as Exeter. What are the changes over the years that you've seen develop better? Oh, it's it is much faster racing than that. It's, it's uh, a lot faster bikes than that. So, I mean, the track's still very soft at the moment, but I mean, when it settles down, I think it will give good advantage to the arm riders. Um, it was different, the track was smaller. I'm enjoying the racing here. What do you think of the new bike track? It's brilliant. There's a lot of work for a gym to do. Yes, definitely. Who's your favourite rider, or you're not going to say? Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Can you be careful? Oh, David McCallum. During practice, a few riders take a tumble. But 
As always, St John Ambulance Brigade are on the scene. Part all the all the speed where they take part in the football in any sort of local event that they requested a point in, in Berwick. And have you? you... Yeah. Um, from the St John's point of view, I've only probably been here for the last three or four, but I've followed Speedway probably since 1972. You had many accidents. It all depends. I mean, not many major ones, thankfully. I mean, obviously with Speedway, you expect people to fall off. But we had a, a few serious broken legs and things like that. Majority of them, because of the speed they go off, they tend to bounce and they just travel with a bike. So they tend to be, get away with it, just with a few bad bruises. After a few laps, Mike Hope inspects the surface of the track. It looks okay. One of the few non-Radio Borders bandits to try out the new track is Lee Dickon, a member of the Hull Vikings team. the biggest crowd puller in the area I mean there's there's no uh, single team whether it be rugby or football than pulling the crowds the speed we has over the last uh, two or three years we can pull in somewhere in the reason, region of uh, between 500 and 2,000 people per week so obviously it's great for sponsorship and uh, certainly helps that we'll mention we have been televised a few times and uh, mentioned every uh, day at least on the radio so there's a lot of sponsorship there available if anybody wants to come forward and it will certainly help the business to anybody local who wants to sponsor us. Yeah, I mean it, it's been a slow process of making improvements over the years, um, since we, especially since we moved into Sheffield. Number one was to make the racing more exciting. Uh, the way we've done that was of course to bank the third and fourth bend, so hopefully if we get enough money on hand this year we can uh, improve it by banking the first and second bend also. Another great improvement uh, would be uh, to get uh, a bar at the track. We didn't have a bar last year. A lot of people have complained that they want to come and maybe have a few drinks when they're watching the Speedway. So that's uh, another thing we can do for last year, which we possibly could have had done last year. with three home meetings rained off in succession. Eric returned to Shieldfield with Scott Robson back in the team.
7 o'clock, the Iowa right in the league. Greener Essex were in action last night, racing in Armadale, taking the Monarchs to a last race decider in that one. Score was Richard O'Hare of the Ferret Bandit Speedway team. Dennis McCleary has been involved with the Shieldfield side for many years. Dennis acts as timekeeper, Speedway control board incident reporter, and also edits the programme, all part of his busy itinerary. Hugh Brown is a little late tonight. Hugh, who works for the local radio station and Bandit's sponsor, Radio Borders, is the centre green presenter. But how long well, has Hugh been a Speedway fan? I first came to Speedway at Hamden Park in Glasgow when I was a wee lad of six and seven in the late 60s. And my father took myself and my younger brother and we used to go home covered in red shale from Hamden. I've been coming to the Speedway at Berwick since the early 80s, so it's, it's a long time, man and boy. It is not. <laughs> Do you think the racing is better here at Shieldfield than it was better at the former track at Berwickton Lock? Oh, I think there's no doubt that, that Shieldfield is where the bandits really should be and it's great to have them back here. And I think this new track with the increased banking on the third and fourth bends is tremendous and makes a much much faster race they don't have to take the throttle off in the third and fourth bends and should also make for closer finishes on the on the line 